All right, guys. So, what I would like to do right now is to show you the prime angle to shoot a projectile at. If we start here and we do a uh, angle, we have a projectile being shot out at a 30 degree angle. Another one being shot out at a 60 degree angle, and then a third one being shot out at a 45 degree angle. Which of these is the best angle to shoot it at? Well, you should remember that if we shoot it at a 30 degree angle, okay, if the angle is 30 degrees, you should remember that the vector you use to find both the x and the y will be equal to the vector in the x here and the vector in the y here. All right? And if we do this, we should remember that it's v, x, v, cosine the angle, and v, y is equal to v, sine the angle. All right, so hopefully we remember that. Um, with that said, if we are doing this, uh, then we plug these numbers in, and if this is the velocity, what we would see is that in this particular case, the x velocity is going to be greater than the y velocity. All right, and you can do this by plugging in the calculator. Just do cosine the angle, cosine 30, sine 30. Okay, and you'll see the velocity in the x is greater than the velocity in the y. Well, what does that mean? It means that <clears throat> when it travels through the air, you're going to end up with a lot of velocity in the x direction. So it's going to go really fast in the x direction, but in the y direction, it's not going to have enough oomph to get it up to a high enough point to get maximum reach in the x direction. Okay? If we instead have it at 60 degrees, we'll encounter the opposite problem. All right. At 60 degrees, we'll encounter the exact opposite problem. And if we do the same thing we did before, vx equals v cosine 60, and vy equals v sine 60, what we'll see is that vy, in this case, is greater, sorry, greater than vx. And what that will mean is that it will go way up, but then it's not got enough, it goes too high. It's not got enough oomph in the x direction to get it going very far. It's velocity in the y, this is the velocity in the x. But it's not got enough oomph in the x direction to get it to go very far. It turns out that if you shoot it at a 45 degree angle, we shoot it at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to erase that. Let's go again. We shoot it at a 45 degree angle. Then what we end up with is Vx equals V cosine 45 and Vy equals V sine 45. And if we were to solve this in the calculator, pretend that's a 5 there. If we were to solve this in the calculator, we would see that Vx equals Vy. All right, so if Vx equals Vy, what we have is the perfect balance. Sorry, if Vx equals Vy, we have the perfect balance of x and y. And it can get up to a decently high point, not as high as 60, but higher than 30. And it's got enough time to make it in the X and in the Y. So if these two things are equal, you have the situation in which you have enough time in the air to get a distance in the X direction. And the velocity in the X direction is such that it goes farther than whenever you shot it at 60 degrees. So despite the fact that the 60 degrees went higher, the velocity in the X was so much lower that it couldn't go as far. So uh, this is proving that 45 degrees is the best to shoot a uh, to shoot a projectile at in order to get maximum distance covered.